Hi guys, welcome to another buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Patea. And uh, behind me, you're probably wondering where I am. Those of you that know will know, and those that you don't, I'm about to tell you. Uh, I'm down at Wongamat Beach, which is in Naklua. And uh, the easiest and most direct way to get down here is, if you're not sure, is to head along Second Road in Patea City. Go to the Dolphin Roundabout, you're gonna turn right, head into Naklua, and go down Soy 18. That's the most direct route down here to this wonderful beach where I'm stood right now. So, the reason I'm down here is two reasons. One, Leprechaun in Thailand, you've been nagging me. Get down there, Trevor, show us Wongamat Beach, let everyone see. So I'm here, buddy, I'm here for you, and uh, I am gonna have a little wander around. And secondly, Ian sent in a question to ask me what is the cost involved and what are the, the pluses and the minuses if you want to have a girl accompany you to an island that maybe you've met of an evening? And uh, it's a good question because it may not be quite as straightforward as perhaps it might see from the outside or might, might seem, should I say, not see, uh, it might seem from the outside. There are a few things that maybe you need to be aware about if you do decide to go and spend some uh, daytime fun with your evening entertainment. So. Uh, here we are, we're down on Wongamat Beach. I've got to be honest with you, it's morning, it's like mid-morning because honestly right now it's just, we're going through a really hot phase. So of course, as you can see behind me there, the tide's out. So it doesn't look as impressive as I was hoping it would, but honestly, right now we're going through a really, really bad phase, a very, very hot phase and uh, it is quite uncomfortable. And I know you're probably sat there wherever you are, maybe you're cold thinking, listen to him whinging about it being hot, like I wish, I'm sorry guys. It's not meant nastily, but it's just really hot at the moment. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up to the other far side over here. I just wanna show you a nice little place where I particularly enjoy sitting. Um, it's beautiful views, so you will see, but as I say, I apologize, the sea is, uh, the tide is out, so it doesn't look as impressive as it would do normally. And then what we'll do is we'll have a wander back up that way, and uh, I'll explain a few pieces, a bit, some pieces about things you might need to consider or you may not be aware of if you were to, to go to an island with, uh, with a newfound love of yours. And uh, also, I'm just gonna give you a bit of information about uh, the beach here, because Wongamat is a really, really nice beach, and it's not often very visited. Uh, particularly if you stay in the city centre, people think, oh no, it's miles away. It's not, guys. It's less than 100 baht on a motorbike taxi, and it's a million miles away from how it appears on the Patea City Beach Road. So uh, there you go. All right, guys, so let me turn the camera around. We'll have a wander up, and uh, we'll see what I can see, what I can share with you, and uh, some little snippets of advice that may or may not be of uh, use to you, or you may or may not be aware of. So uh, let's go. All right, so I just want to head over here. Um, this is, when you come down to the beach, it's to the left-hand side. And the reason I want to go over this way is because it is actually a really nice little part of Wongamat Beach, and it's a part that not many people walk up to, which is a shame because it really is lovely. Um, now, Wongamat Beach, now you might be wondering where did they get the name from? Well, basically it was from the Wongamat Hotel, which was in 1960, it was formed in 1960, and uh, they built a hotel here called the Wongamat Hotel, and the little stretch of beach that uh, you'll see when we get back in a second, uh, is where the name came from. And from that hotel, they sold out, actually, they sold out to the Central Wongamat Beach Resort, and uh, oh, a bit hard on the old ground here, and uh, that continued to operate until what is now a very famous, the uh, Centara Grand Mirage Resort. And uh, if you're not sure about that one, I'll show you that when we get back, but that's stunning. But I will show you that on the way around. Down this, do you know what? I hate walking on the sand. Because I'm fat, I sink in. Because I sink in, it's harder to walk. And I am trying to lose weight. You know, I've been out cycling and uh, I'm getting there slowly, very slowly. All right. Whew. See, I'm already out of breath. I've only done 10 yards. It is hot at the moment, I've got to tell you. All right, so now in normal operating times, and I hope that won't be too far away, come up here and I'll show you why. Because there used to be a lovely old lady who used to have about 10 or 12 deck chairs and she'd put you down here and as you can see, you can sit here. Oh, there she is. So, what do you Somebody may come. Oh, and he made me con car. Oh, maybe I come. Alana? 
โอ้ไม่เอาครับขอบพมากไม่เป็นไรโอ้ไม่หิวครับไม่หิวโอ้โอ้กินปลาใช่ไหมโอ้ right sorry about that so she's still there bless her that's the lady over there lovely people and basically you come and see now this is my little spot here right here hang on let me turn there you go that is where I sit and the reason I sit here is look at this view have a look at that look at that beautiful and now in case you're asking uh, to yourself what was I just waffling on about uh, basically she asked me did I want a massage and did I want to eat any food and I was like no there's nobody here now she said I know so we were just talking about but look at that for a view there you go beautiful stunning and like I say you know this is literally a five minute motorcycle ride from Patea City and what we'll do is I'll just walk up there and just show you that but as you can see it really is nice and uh, listen if you do come up here don't nick my spot all right sharing's caring but don't take the piss that is my spot and just in case you're not sure look there it is that is where I sit <laughs> All right, so let's have a little walk up here. And the nice thing about it is look at the sand. It sounds gay, don't it? Look at the sand. But the sand's beautiful. You know, it's really nice. This area is clean. Um, there's not a lot of people come here, which is surprising enough. And, you know, it amazes me when people come here on holiday and when they go out of a night time, okay, you know, you, you go out, you party, you have your fun. But in the daytime, don't sit around by your pool. Get up, come out places like this. You know, it really is fantastic, as you're gonna see. So, we are very, very blessed here with some incredible beaches that are just nearby. And I would say, if you look there, look, I wouldn't say swimming in that is an issue. In fact, there's someone, oh no, it's a rock. <laughs> Well, that's kind of how I swim. I, I swim like a rock. I only speed up when they try and harpoon me. I think, bloody hell, I better get a shift on. All right, so let's just walk up here. Now, in the far distance there, can you see the Patea City sign? And you'll get your bearings now as to where we are. So, uh, and, you know, look at the sand. It's beautiful. You could almost think you're in the Caribbean. All right, okay, maybe I'll stretch in the truth a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? It is nice. So, and at least at the moment, it's a little bit overcast. There's a lovely breeze, so that's quite good. Now, talking about girls, let's talk about girls. So, you've gone out in the evening, you've met a new acquaintance, and you want to go to one of the islands, or maybe you want to spend some time on the beach the following day, etc., etc. Tip number one make sure you let her know and I'll tell you why is surprisingly enough a lot of the girls don't like it they don't like spending time on the beach they don't like spending time in the Sun and I'll tell you the reason why just before we turn around so here we go look up there oh. all right look at that how nice is that beautiful all right, so now you're probably saying to yourself, well, why don't they want to lay around on the beach all day? A lot of the girls don't like the sun. And the reason being is it's a culture thing. So if you've got brown skin, to many that indicates you've been working out on the fields, in the rice fields, in the farms. And, you know, I think that's amazing. You know, they work very, very hard. But if you've got white skin, well, that indicates that quite possibly you work either in an, in an office, or maybe a hospital, somewhere where you're not exposed to sunlight. And that's why one of the biggest commodities here for girls is white skin uh, powder, creams, you name it, they want it. And that's the reason why they want to be white skinned because that gives the impression that they're working in an office as opposed to working outside on the farms and it is sad 
that that's how they they want to be in terms of trying to impress others by the color of their skin but unfortunately it is a reality so if you say to a girl yeah let's go to the beach and have a wonderful day granted that is what i would consider to be a really good time a lot of girls will say oh no no they say my bye my bye i not go i not go my job dad i don't like the sun and now you know why so if you don't say beforehand to the to your uh, newfound love that that's your plan you may find come tomorrow when you want to go off and spend the day that she will suddenly find a reason to go back to her room so just be upfront guys you know say to her look i want to go to the beach maybe i'm going to go to kolan whatever now some will go they will still go because obviously spending a day away from the bar scene is a lot more enjoyable particularly if you're footing the bill so a lot will still go but don't be offended if they don't want to go swimming and they don't want to stand out in the sun it really is the reason i've just said but many will still go so don't worry now ian asked about the costs well the thing that you have to be aware of is whatever time the girl spends away from the bar ultimately you will have to pay for that means every day you have to pay the bar fine every night that bar fine will be covered and of course you're going to have to come to an arrangement with the girl as well just because you're going to spoil her in your eyes taking her to the island and you're going to pay for all her food etc doesn't work like that boys she will want paying her normal daily amount whatever it is you guys have negotiated and agreed so be aware that that will happen so when you go to these islands or you come to the beach they will remain mostly fully clothed no matter how hot it is it's thai style and you know they won't want to venture out from the umbrellas into the sun so don't think she's going to be laying there in a nice little two-piece g-string outfit unlikely to happen some will i'm not saying everybody some will but in general that's what i'm saying and they will ultimately be glued to their phone so the attention span is probably about a minute at best every hour so just don't be offended because they will be glued to their phones now just change the subject quickly there you go rim to lay seafood restaurant if you like your seafood back when these are reopening this is a great place to come food's good it is expensive compared to normal places but when you look at that it's not really a normal place is it so it is a little bit more expensive food's nice and uh, you can sit outside etc now let me just move down here Whew, hot today my lord getting hot now remember i said to you about wongamat beach and about the centara grand mirage the luxury resort well you may not have recognized the name but i'm guessing you're going to recognize this building let me show you that there you go that is the resort in all its glory and i have to say having been there a few times it really is nice fantastic swimming pool wonderful restaurants good rooms i mean especially if you're on the side we're looking at now and you're facing out towards the sea stunning views it is a little bit more expensive but then you know as in everything you pay for what you get and they have a private beach area which they mark off and no one else can uh, sit in there so you uh, you do have a bit more privacy well not privacy but you have a bit more space should i say so that is the grand uh, sorry the centara grand mirage luxury resort now i'm not going to go too far up there because to be honest with you there's not a lot else to show you now going back to the girls so as i said it's unlikely they'll go swimming with you most of them can't swim ironically you know 
it's a, it's a huge culture difference to us. You know, when we're kids, particularly in England, you know, you're taught to swim. Oh, sorry. There you go. You're taught to swim at an early age, obviously uh, for the life-saving reasons. Um, but out here they don't. You know, it's my missus swims like a house brick, which you, you know, it's quite funny to watch her. You know, they start off 10 meters of, ex of excited splashing around to realize they've only gone two meters and then they give up because they're tired. Then they have to have a sleep because they've done a bit of exercise. So it really is a, a, a funny situation to be in. Phones, expect it all the time, you know. It is the way of the world, it's what we're in, unfortunately. And talking of phones, did you know the first phone weighed, I think it's 2.2 pounds and cost $3,500, the very first phone. What was your first mobile phone? Mine came in a, a bag. You just have to put this like a, a shoulder bag. That's what mine came in. And I think I had a, a lifespan of about four minutes, which was enough to speak to your mum and tell her a pack of lies about why you weren't coming home. But yeah, the first phone, 2.2 pounds. Imagine lugging that around all day. And it cost $3,000. $500. That's incredible. So what was your first phone, guys? All right, so beautiful. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. So regarding the girls, you know, they will accompany you. I would say 100% make sure you explain your intentions before you decide to spend the day with her so that she has the opportunity to jump ship if this is not her thing. And some will say no. Don't take it personally, but some will say no. If you do go, you know, go to Kolan. There you go over there. Go to Kolan, beautiful island. Remember, go to Samay Beach, Tien Beach over the other side. Don't go to Samay Beach where they drop you off. That's not the best beach. Go over the other side. And once the, uh, once the island reopens, they've locked themselves down now, completely isolated themselves. No one's allowed in and no one's allowed out other than for food deliveries. Um, but once it's reopened, I will head over there and show you around because it really is a lovely place. And again, you know, you can hop on a speedboat from the city centre. It's uh, 30, 40 baht on the ferry. I think it's three or 400 baht if you want to jump in a speedboat, but you have to wait for 10 or 12 people. And uh, if you want to hire a boat, if there's a group of you, it's about three, three, 4,000 baht. But head over there, it really is nice. So, you know, head to there. If you want to go a bit further down, go to Rayong and uh, go over to the islands there. You know, you've got a lot of options here. But like I say, please, please, please make your intentions known because some girls will decline what you perceive to be a wonderful offer. And it is a nice, nice offer, you know, but for some of them sitting in the sun all day, they ain't gonna do that. All right, so let's head back to the restaurant. And uh, I think I could be advertising myself as a boil in the bag meal because it is so hot. Ooh. Incidentally, guys, who on the channel that's uh, watching this video, have you been to Wongamat Beach? You know, do you agree with me? Do you think this is a really nice area? Have you eaten in uh, Rim Talay? And uh, if you did, did you find the food? was up to standard like I've said did you have a good meal what did you think of the prices you know this is the thing I love about the channel is the fact that we all interact someone said to me the other day when you're asked a question you don't know the answer to you always tell people I don't know rather than try and blag it <laughs> you know I would I would hate to think that if someone's asking somebody a question specifically on like a public platform like YouTube that if you don't know the actual answer, you, you blag it. Because number one, it makes you look a tit. And number two, the person that's taking your advice is gonna think, well, what was all that about? So uh, yeah, if I don't know, I honestly put my hand up and say, guys, I ain't got a clue. However, the good thing is that you guys out there do. So you always help me out, which is fantastic. And you always uh, say, oh yeah, I've been there and check out this or check out that. Fantastic. All right, cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. 
as I say, that's Wongamat Beach. Very easy to get to. Soy 18 off the main road. Come down, and I'll just show you here. Let's just walk up this pathway a little bit, and then we'll finish off. Damn, I've done 47 kilometers on the bike today, and now I'm walking up a hill. God, I'm a muppet. See, boys, committed to the cause. I'm taking one for the team. Right, so there you go. So that's the road that you'll come down. And uh, it brings you, let me just turn around. All right, so from there, you'll come down and that's, although it doesn't look a lot, that's where you enter. And if you just look up, look for that sign, the big crab and the seafood buffet. That is Rim to Lay. Okay, right, let me spin the camera around. Okay, so there you go, guys. So, uh, Leprechaun in Thailand. I did it for you, buddy. Look how hot I am. And uh, Ian, hopefully that's answered your question. So, whatever, however many days, you always have to compensate the bar with the bar fine and the girl with whatever it is you guys have discussed between you. And always, always, always make sure you let her know of your intentions because you may find that sitting on a beach, although it sounds fantastic for us, is maybe not high on her agenda. So just be very careful and make sure you explain. And if they do go, don't be offended if they sit under the uh, umbrella all day and they won't go swimming with you. Guys, it's just not in their, in their culture. You know, there, there are some that will, don't get me wrong, but a majority of the girls really aren't up for it. What they will do though, is they'll walk along the beach looking for shells. Work that out. I'll walk along the beach side looking for shells in the sun, but I won't go in the water anyway. But there you go, guys. So. Uh, that's it for me, hopefully you've enjoyed it. What I will do is I'll put a pin drop uh, Google map location in the description below so you can see exactly where I am right now. So if you do want to come here, just open up that pin drop, get your uh, phone, get your directions and you know, grab a bolt taxi, a motorbike taxi. You know, it really is not a lot of money. You're gonna pay nowhere near, anywhere near more than 100 baht from the city center to here. So it really is pennies. All right, guys, so that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, please remember, guys, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Please check out our members area, and if you'd like to join, I will send you a digital ID card, and once all these places reopen, uh, you will get the opportunity to go and claim your discounts back from various locations, bars, restaurants, etc., etc. And guys, check out our Telegram group. There's lots and lots of like-minded people just like you guys that are uh, on, the, on the channel there chatting away about Patea and all kinds of things. It really is quite funny reading your comments. All right, guys, that's it for me. I need to go back, have a shower because I'm absolutely melting like an ice pop on a hot day and uh, I really do need to get out of this sun. All right, guys, thanks ever so much for watching and please, wherever you are, stay safe.